Hi, I'm Josh Mahar with Kansas State Research and Extension, and today we're going to walk you through some common steps for cleaning and sanitizing uh, the packing area, specifically paying attention to the food contact surfaces, and then we're going to talk about some common uh, misconceptions or some common errors that you might come across. So supplies-wise, we're talking a bucket, Dawn, potable hose to be able to clean, and scrub brushes, the hygienic design is the preferred way to go. With your detergent and your hygienic design scrub brush, really clean your table. At that point, you follow it up with the potable water rinse. Now we're at the sanitizer phase with your mixed according to label sanitizer with the right concentrate. You'll apply it to the table and then the label will tell you whether it is air dry or how long it needs to sit followed by a potable rinse and you always want to follow the label. The next thing we're going to show, these are commonly used for berry picking, is the correct way to clean your harvest containers for use, and an incorrect way to. Making sure to pay particular attention to any um, soil or organic matter buildup, especially with these being used for berries, you can um, see the fruit juices and syrups kind of pooling at the bottom. After you have scrubbed your bucket, your next phase is getting out all that soapy water. And then you can air dry them back on the table you just cleaned or have another table set up that's off the ground. So you'll notice on this one, only the inside of the bucket was cleaned. It's a common mistake that farms make. The reason that's a problem is all the organic material, dirt, debris, and possible pathogens on the outside of the bucket, as soon as you stack it, you're back to where you started. Whereas Josh shows you he cleaned the inside, outside, and bottom of the bucket. So then when you stack it inside, it stays food contact surface safe. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate um, some common errors we see on the farm in terms of uh, cleaning and sanitizing these place, uh, produce uh, containers right here. It's a lot of soil and debris kind of nestled in all the crevices. And something we, we often see is um, growers trying to just go straight for the scrub brush and the soap and trying to clean it out all here without removing any of that um, material. Um, and so we would definitely recommend that you spray out any residual soil or organic matter. And then go straight to the uh, cleaning step here with a, obviously a sensitive brush. And again, paying attention to any of those cracks and crevices as uh, organic matter and fruit juice and vegetable juice and all kinds of goodies can get trapped in there. And then making sure to wash the bottom and sides as well. Now we're going to go ahead to the sanitizing step. So you have a lot of flexibility on the types of sanitizers that you use. Just make sure that you follow the label um, very diligently based on the contact time and whether or not you need to spray the sanitizer off afterwards. The one we're using today is a uh, 30 second dunk. Pay note that I'm using protective, personal protective equipment for uh, this step. Okay. 
And then this specific sanitizer rule recommends um, allowing it to air dry. So we'll place it on our food contact surface here and good to go. So Josh showed you the correct way to do it with removing your organic material, rinse, and then you have your detergent scrub. You scrub it out, rinse it back out and sanitize. A common mistake farms make is when they see this organic material, they will simply remove it this way or rinse it and brush it and go straight to the sanitizer. That is not the correct way to do it. You're basically worse than where you started and you've taken your clean sanitation water for your future buckets and, and put organic material and it can't work as effective in there. So this is a pretty typical post-harvest area setup where after you're done with your field buckets and totes and containers for the day. What you don't want to do at that point is take your clean buckets and container and set them face down on the ground. After you have correctly cleaned and sanitized, this is how you'd want to stack your containers to dry. This is the second stainless steel table, off the ground, able to dry. And the things you want to watch for too is to be away from any possible rodents or other contaminants.